Okay, okay, we are back with some more Sabrina Carpenter. Um, next up is I'm Faking, produced by El Dondi and Andreas Torres. I think I said that right. I, I hope I said it. Anyways, let's check it out. <clears throat> Cool. Oh, how come we get so immature when we're alone? I roll my eyes, you check your phone, you say I'm overly dramatic, and I know. Cause I wanna bring you to your knees, begging for me now, begging for me. Push you to the edge to see how far you're willing to reach. I'm slamming the Oh, dude, you guys hear the clock? Okay, first of all, the clock in the background of the pre-chorus where she says she she's waiting. But she, you edged it. Wait, where did she say that? Didn't she say she's waiting? Okay, she didn't say that at all. I'm fucking hallucinating. Why did I think she said that? But the clock, you hear the clock? And then the transition wasn't like the most craziest, but it hit the hardest. You know what I mean? for me now, for me. Push you to the edge to see how far you're willing to reach. Oh. oh no guys i think there's a transition coming but that's not good that's that's pretty toxic dude if you're gonna say every you're gonna threaten to end the relationship uh if it, if the relationship is bad just end it i know it's not that easy sometimes but you shouldn't fake ending a relationship to try and get your partner's attention because that's just unfortunate you know what i mean and yeah this just doesn't sound like a good relationship at all um <laughs> hopefully barry is better than this you know what i mean hope barry is giving her a real experience like a real relationship that's normal Ooh. the riser in the 808 sliding it is an 808 slide The flow. I mean, at least they're, uh, she's aware of it. We're messed up and we like it. I guess if, if you're if you're aware of the toxicity going on in a relationship and you actually like it, well, if it blows up in your face, it's no one's fault but y'all y'all own. You know what I mean? Like that's ego to ego i love the flow though on the second verse da, 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 you know what i mean like it felt smooth Are we going to get a little switch up here? Or a bridge? That bridge, that bridge wasn't it. Guys, the bridge is literally just the same thing, but like done a little bit differently. I like the song, the production, everything, but I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Is that a good, I feel like that's a good choice of words. Cause like it's the same exact transition from the, I liked it at first, the pre-chorus into the, the chorus, that transition. I liked it at first, but they just keep doing the same thing. And it's just repeating, repeating, repeating without really any variation whatsoever. And I think that's, a negative to a song when there's no you bring in something back for the the third fourth time and it's the exact same thing from the first part like it's kind of boring to me you know what i mean like you want to keep things fresh and keep things interesting and evolving as the song goes on um yeah i'm not too big on this now 
Like, I like it, and I like how it sounds. It's a, there's a little bit of catchiness, but I'm, a, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Oh, wow. Like, it goes hard. It's cool, but... It's kind of boring. Guys. This is wild because usually with songs that they're like, oh, it starts off and I'm not super interested. And by the end of it, I'm like, wow, I love this. But this is the complete opposite. I was like, this is sick, you know? And, and then as it went on, I'm like, I don't really like this. Like, there's nothing. It's not a bad song. They made things properly. Everything's all in key and everything's mixed well. And the vocals are nice. Like, there are a lot of good aspects, technically aspects, you know what I mean? But the song just feels kind of boring. And the fact that, like, look how long the chorus is. It's such a long chorus, and the pre-chorus is always in front of it. The verses are very short. We get the chorus paired with the pre-chorus one, two, three times. And the bridge is pretty much a repeat of something that already happened. I feel like the song is just a lot of fucking filler, and it's just the same thing repeating, repeating, repeating. It, it just feels boring to me. I just feel like they didn't put a lot of effort into this at least the production side it, maybe even with the verses as well because it's like the verses are cool but they're very short and there's only two of them um i'm disappointed not only underwhelmed but also disappointed i'm not very familiar with what's all the songs on this album pushing 20 i think i i don't remember that one that well tell them i don't really remember tell them that well either i think tell them was fire I think Act 1 I'm more familiar with, not Act 2, but... Uh, wow, I'm actually, like, disappointed with this. Like I said, it doesn't... There's not, like... It's not bad. Like, it's not like fucking Lana Del Rey, uh, Motel... Was it Mermaid Motel? Or Noir. Noir. Lana Del Rey, Noir. Where things are just bad in general. Literally, I will forever not like that song, and people that defend Noir... Quit being a glazer. You're a fake fan if you say Noir is your favorite song from Lana. I, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But this, like, it's not like that at all. Like, there's good things, and there's, like, things are in key, things are on point. So it's like, you can't complain, but it's not it. It's not it. It's boring, and it repeats. The The chorus is too long with the pre-chorus, and it's just, like, zero variation at all in production. It's, I'm shook. The song project, such big bad bitch energy, and I love it. The bitches that let this single flop need to go to jail. No, there's a reason why it flopped. The sassiness. I do love Sabrina's sassiness. Very true go sabrina I, I need to hear more people's thoughts on this i feel like a lot of people are liking it i i'm not and i love sabrina and a lot of the music she makes you say i'm overly dramatic i know felt that 2019 most underrated artist award goes to sabrina um can everyone stop sleeping on her she keeps releasing one amazing song after another video hasn't even started and i already know it's a bop her vocals are getting better and better with every song she does have really good vocals i don't think this well the background vocals towards the end were nice um, she always drops the best stuff without warning. She's matured so freaking much. Remember, girl meets world. Is that the Disney? That's the thing. It's a Disney show. Whenever I try to put my phone down, every time I tell you what we're, everyone's everyone's liking it. I personally, I think I'm in the minority here. I'm faking going to sleep so I can listen to this bop. Yuna is a big fan of Sabrina. Is that a who's Yuna? I don't know who that is. The second comment I've seen saying that. You're about to go to bed, but you check your phone and see Sabrina Carpenter uploaded. Bish, I wasn't expecting this today, but I love it. I can't wait for the album. Yeah, it seems like I'm in the I'm in the minority here. I dude, it just feels like I've already said how I felt. I'm not gonna repeat it and rant again. But yeah, I am disappointed and really underwhelmed. Um uh, but I'm sure like I, I think Sabrina's just in a better place now. Because with the stuff recently, she's been mad cooking and everything's fire. But um as we're delving deeper into some older stuff from five years ago yeah i don't know if this is this one this song isn't it she does have bangers from back in the day but this song isn't it for me i should we delete it i don't think it's bad like i said there are things that are technically good you know what i mean like they made sure everything's awesome on paper but people want to say 
uh, espresso is generic this feels generic espresso is a radio hit yes you can say it's like that but this is more generic than espresso is uh i don't i'm not big on this uh, keep or delete i'm not gonna delete because like again it's not bad keep but what will i rate it i'm gonna go like a seven no i'm going seven no i'm like i said <laughs> for the fucking 50th time on paper, it makes sense, but creatively, it just feels very uninspired, underwhelming, and I'm disappointed. So I'll go like a 7-0. 7-0 for me, man. Yeah.